variables, simple yet really used feature of SAS that probably is also one of most valuable f features to us. We assign variables and we save those in our SCSS files. And those variables are able to be used through entirety of our project, uh, through our files. So the good example of this would be the light and dark theme of the app or the website. You could create the theme color variable and uh, that color will contain, for example, the light color, like a white color. And that variable will, would be passed to your uh, main color of your website, not the white color, but the variable of the white color. So at some point, if the user wish to change that uh, lighter to a darker theme, uh, your uh, theme color, uh, the theme color variable would change the color itself. And wherever you used that variable, uh, the entirety of your project, the styling of your project will change from a light to a dark as you change the value for that variable. Let me show you this in a clear example. This is also a good example for project management as variables won't be part of our base folder, it will be part of our helpers folder. So here I would create a new folder called helpers and inside of that folder I will create a new file called variables.scss. So to assign the variable itself I, could, I must use a dollar sign before and I could pass the name of the variable. In my example I will pass team color and I will set this theme color to be color of uh, FFF FFF for example. So by this if I save it right now it won't work kinda. I mu must uh, import my variables uh, file into my style.scss. I will import that above my typography import as my variables should be kinda uh, imported before as maybe in typography I would use some of my variables and my SCSS must know that that variable really exists. So that's why we first load the variables then typography. So here I will import uh, uh, from helpers variables file and now if I save I will uh, successfully uh, compile my SCSS code. So now in my style.scss I could grab my body itself here. So body and here I could put the background color to be equal and you could see this theme color uh, which is coming from helpers slash variables file. So I could use the theme color here. I would use it with the dollar sign and the name of the variable theme color. If I save it right now everything will be okay and on my browser itself I will see the white color as the background. This is not a change as by default the white color is the background of uh, body. So now instead of uh, changing this color to a black color I would uh, change the variable value itself. So in variables file I would instead of FFF pass 000000, 000, 000 which stands for a black color and if I control S that it will successfully compile this and now on my browser I could see the background is a black background as I pass the value of this variable to the body itself. So I will move this back to FFF, FFF and by this you can see that uh, you can use one variable to, uh, to manage your multiple elements. So you don't really need to use these uh, variables just for the colors or the theme colors itself. Uh, you could uh, set uh, multiple values uh, and multiple variables and you could handle that easily with SCSS. For example, uh, most of the teams today have their primary or secondary color. So I could pass here primary color, for example, and set it to be a red color. And also I could create the secondary color variable and set it to be a blue color, like this. So now in my typography SCSS, instead of using this red color here, I could use a primary color variable. And on my browser there won't be a change for that. There will be a still a red color for my h1 tag here. As this text here is kinda smaller text, I could use a secondary color for that. So as I'm still working with my typography, I would work here in typography file. So I would use my P sign and set the color for that to be secondary color. So now on a browser we could see that uh, my paragraph is using that blue color that is coming from my theme variable. 
And if you wish to change those colors, you don't really need to change the colors on a paragraphs as you could change, you could have like hundreds of paragraphs through your website or your app. You would change the color on a main level, on a variable, and that color uh, would be set for all the paragraphs, for example, uh, through your code. So basically wherever you used that variable itself. So for example now, I don't wish that my secondary color is blue color. I wish to set up my secondary color to be a green color. Green. Like this. And now wherever I had that secondary uh, variable, secondary color, uh, it, my blue color will change to a green, as you could see by the example here. And for now I just show the colors for you. I could also have a primary font, for example. And I could set that to be just a sans serif, like this. So now I could go to my typography itself and I could change the font family here and set it to be equal to a primary font, for example. But I didn't use it properly, this sans serif. I will need to use it with sans serif, like this. So now you can see the difference between the fonts. You can see that my font is different for the H1 as uh, it is using my primary font for my uh, theme here. And uh, the font for the paragraph looks different as it is not the sans serif font itself. So let me show you the example of CSS. How does this look in our CSS itself? As you know, in index.html, we are not passing any of the SCSS files. We are compiling those files through prepros uh, to have the uh, CSS file for us that we will import in our index.html. So in CSS, I could have now style.css file. And you can see that it compiles perfectly. So basically my H1 here that is styled has a color of red, font family of sans serif. And in my typography of SCSS, I'm not passing those values. I am passing the values of my variables that contains those values that are at the end compiled in our CSS. You can see that our paragraph is also green and body is also a white color, our main theme color. There are no imports as those imports will at the end compile in our main CSS file. And there is no also variables as those are changed uh, to main uh, to, to, to their values. And with this I wish to show you just one more thing with variables. So in my typography, Instead of using just the primary color, what if I wish to make this primary color a bit lighter or a bit darker? I still wish to use that red color, but I kind of wish to use it a bit darker, for example. There is a lighten and darken method in uh, uh, SCSS and we could use that with our variables, with our colors mainly. So, instead of passing here primary color, I will cut this out and here I will use a darken method. And you can see that the darken method uh, must have two values. First value is the color itself. So here I will pass the primary color variable of my variables. And the second value is the amount. This basically goes in percentages. So here I could pass 20 percentages, for example. So I will show you this example here. You can see that there is a red color of my H1. But if I save my file right now with the primary, primary color of red, uh, which is 20 percentages darker, you will see that that red color is not red itself now. It is kind of going to a brown color. And what, for example, if I use lighten here, so lighten, like this, uh, you will see that my color won't be red, it will be a lighter red, right? So basically we could use these methods to make our colors also darker or lighter based on our variables. We don't really need to pass our variables here, we could pass, for example, hex signs for uh, color itself. So with this you can see for what variables are used in SAS, but also you saw how to use them and how to combine them with methods like lighten and darken. With variables finished, we can continue this series and uh, I will show you how, how can we nest our SCSS and uh, how will that nested S SCSS look in our CSS. This nested feature will make you code a lot faster than just with CSS. Let's learn that now. Mm -hmm.